Hi. So in this video, we're going to try and understand the function if in Excel and its usage in a lot of applications when you're trying to solve some kind of a problem. We'll try and relate it to finance and kind of link it to an exercise in finance. So if is a very simple yet powerful function, kind of allows you to figure out multiple conditions and then you know give an output based on those conditions. So we'll take a simple example here. There's a bunch of companies that are listed here with their inception dates that are given. Uh, how many years they have been into existence has been given there. What is their sales in rupees crore is given. And let's say their bond rating is also given. Now, the first and simplest application of if is, you know, I just want to find out if a company has been in existence for more than 20 years, then it has to be called a matured company. Or otherwise, I should be writing that it's an upcoming company. So that's my objective that, you know, for example, this company is in uh, existence for more than 20 years and I will write a matured company here. And uh, if this is less than 20 years, then I'll write an upcoming company here. This is the output that is expected, right? So now what we can do is we can just start with the if function. I can start typing and I can say is equals to if a bracket opens and then you see there are the arguments that start coming there. So the if function will ask for a logical test right and then it'll say value if true and value if false so there are three separate arguments that have to be given i can also click on fx and open this uh, console here and it'll say logical test is true then value if the test is true and value if the test is false right so i'll try and type this here so my logical test is if years in existence is greater than 20 right that's my logical test value if true i want to type matured company and value if false, I want to type upcoming company, right? That's what is, you know, required here. And that string that you see, if C6 is greater than 20, which is I'm looking at what is the years of existence. And if that number is more than 20, then I'm saying matured. Else, if that is not true, then the answer should be upcoming. That is what we have put here. Let's click enter and we'll see it types as matured. I go here right at the bottom corner, double click. It copies the formula in all the cells that follow. So you'll see if C10, which is the cell of year in existence of company E, is greater than 20, then matured, otherwise upcoming. So it mentions it as upcoming, right? So that's the construct of uh, using a simple uh, segment where we are saying, okay, let's uh, type if a company is matured or upcoming. Let's put this here. Now we take one step further. And we add a layer to this conversation and we say, okay, invest if the company is matured and has a sales of more than 2,500, otherwise do not invest, right? So let's understand the output here. We are saying that if the company is mature, which is more than 20 years in existence and the sales is more than 2,500 crore. So this is a condition where both the conditions have to satisfy, then I can go ahead. So either I can put an if inside an if, it can be a nested if, right? So if this is matured, so I can solve it two ways, right? So the first one is if, let's say this is equal to matured, right? Then I'll check if this is greater than 2500. And if that is the case, then I'll say invest, else I'll say do not invest right and then this if closes and I go outside because now I'll check for the, if the first condition itself was false then do not invest so that will give me the output I close this enter the first case it matches so invest second case it matches so invest the third case it does not match because the sales is not more than 2500 so I should get do not invest right so this seems to work that's one way to solve this let's try and park this here. So this is an if inside an if. That's a nested if, right? So you put an if, uh, ask for a condition. If that condition satisfies, then you go and check the second condition. If the second condition satisfies, then you go and say, okay, invest. Otherwise, do not invest in both the cases. Either condition goes off, you can remove that, right? You can use a logical function here as well to try and solve this, right? So how do you use a logical function? You can say, you can use a function and Right. So let's try and do that. Let's delete this. Let's try and start using if. And now within if, there can be a logical test of and. So open the and function. And in the and function, you will see there are like multiple logical conditions. So you can say if this is equals to 
matured that's the first logical condition uh, I think the and thing got deleted here let's do that again so we'll say if is equals to if and open bracket logical condition one this is equal to matured comma logical condition two which is sales greater than 2500 close the bracket so this is the and function which will test these logical conditions if both of them are true and will throw out a one which means it is basically the condition matches value if true so I'll say invest value if false then I'll say do not invest right enter let's see what do we get we get the same sense here as well so invest if both the conditions meet in this case the conditions don't meet because this is 2500 I change this to 2501 more than 2500 you'll get invest there right conditions don't meet both conditions don't meet both conditions don't meet here they meet then again here it doesn't here it doesn't here it doesn't here it doesn't right both conditions meeting I can use an AND function similarly if you need only one of the conditions to meet you can use OR instead of AND you can use OR function instead of um, you know the AND function so that's how IF can be used within IF or you could have like uh, AND function within the IF function that could be there so it's a powerful function it allows you to kind of use multiple scenarios and you know you can come up with outputs based on that try and practice it a lot of the cases in finance it gets used that's broadly it in this particular video about if function do try it out on a similar exercise at your end